This is very first time the People's Liberation Army reveals detail of most advanced weaponry on the attack helicopters. It is a rare opportunity to be able to see a full coverage of live drill from helicopters attack training. This video shows China latest models of armed helicopters training on attacking sea targets. The details of weapon systems had never been shown before in the public. The helicopter next to me is a special purpose armed helicopter, which is the Type Z-10. Its deployment has greatly improved the assault and anti-armor capabilities of the PLA Army Air Force. Next, let us ask Captain Wong to take us to know it. The Z-10 helicopter is a third-generation armed helicopter independently developed by our country. It has good low-altitude performance and combat capabilities. Let me introduce to you its combat effectiveness. First, hanging on the outermost side is the pylon for air-to-air -air missiles. You can hang four missiles. It is mainly used to strike aerial targets and conduct aerial combat. The inner one is a rocket launcher, which can mount seven rockets. It is mainly used to hit ground targets, such as armored vehicles, tanks, and bridges. Because helicopters fly relatively low, the accuracy of hitting ground targets with a rocket launcher will be higher. I found that there are a lot of rivets on this helicopter. Why are they forming a lot of irregular shapes with so many rivets? The material of the skin of our third-generation helicopter is composite material. The advantages of composite materials are high strength and lightweight. The main function of these rivets is, if the skin of a certain area is damaged, it will not cause large-scale cracking, which would be better to protect yourself in the battlefield. This makes a sense. The less damage and the stronger survivability. Well, first of all, at the forefront is the turret system which can be used for close-range air combat and strikes against ground targets. There are two mounted weapon systems on this side. What's the difference between this side and that side? There is a difference. This is an air-to-surface missile pylon. As the name suggests, its main targets are tanks and armored vehicles on the ground, and bridges, etc. Just now you mentioned an air-to-air -air missile and an air-to-surface missile. What is the difference between the two? Air-to-air -air missiles are guided by heat sources, while air-to-surface missiles are guided by lasers. These are the two main differences. After talking about these weapon systems, I saw the pilot wearing a very technological helmet. What function does it have? It is a multi-purpose helmet that integrates communication, night vision system, and stable aiming turret follow-up system. As the name suggests, the aiming system means that you can turn the turret toward where you see with total hands-free. I see. In this way, the helmet is equivalent to one of our eyes, an aiming system, which drives the cannon to rotate and aim. With this helmet, there is no need for the weapon operator to use two-handed control. It is more precise, faster and more convenient than manual aiming. It frees up our hands. It is no longer necessary for the weapon operator to use both hands to control the pointing of the cannon, but to directly manipulate the pointing through his own field of view. Wherever the pilot looked, wherever the viewing equipment and the cannon pointed at, this greatly reduces the fire response time, hence strengthens the strike effectiveness. In actual combat, every second counts. Whoever reacts faster can fire first.
大量的时间去完成相应的检查工作。随着机务官兵完成检查，这次实弹演练也进入了倒计时。这个目标它会移动，瞄准的难度其实非常大。我们才刚刚飞到了最远处的大招。电影点号，可以攻击。电影五号，可以攻击，可以攻击。目标已摧毁百分之六十。第三号右转。在这个现场，无论是进攻型的武器还是防御型的武器，我们都能够看到。枪打吧，飞行员必须要练就这个一招制敌的技能。弹药挂载正式开始。为了达到战术训练的目的，每架飞机都有不同的装弹需求，难度可想而知。不过，负责装载弹药的军械专业官兵还是把这么多的弹药以最快的速度，分毫不差地挂上不同的飞机，可见基本功之扎实。又达到了培养适合训练，同时呢，也在这个单双机连战术这一块啊，也是起到了一个突破的作用。在这里，我们将全程记录陆航直升机射击海面目标的全过程、全场面，让我们一起拭目以待。体现飞行员使用机载观瞄设备的能力。